Hey guys, welcome back to the Joe Jaguar Show, your best friend in science, astronomy, and telescopes. Well, at least one of them, I hope. Anyway, we have the 12 inch dogs in here, and we're gonna go outside. So, you know, when it's in the spring, it's normally called the galaxy season, and normally that's gonna be hard from the city. So from the spring, uh, besides like um, the Beehive, M67, M111, one or two more clusters, there's really no more open clusters till you get to like the summer skies, unless you stay up like really late, because then the sky is turning, then you're actually seeing the summer stuff in the spring, but you're, you're staying up much later. You can see two seasons if you stay enough like uh, awake two seasons will be in the, in the daytime then you could do two seasons in the night but anyway if you're in a city or a very light polluted area me for instance i'm in a bordeaux eight zone or a white zone and even with a 12 inch dobson and you guys probably if you've watched me you see i probably got at least eight to ten street lights hitting me and when i'm recording i have the flash on or it's going to be black and you won't see anything so if you're in a city and it's in between that springtime where it's the galaxy season, which is going to be too hard uh, because of the light pollution. And until the like summer Milky Way, that's when the open clusters are. There's not too many things. The only things left if there's no planets um, and let's say uh, without double stars as well. I got a few mosquito bites from going up north my last trip. Um, but anyway, uh, that's a different story. So the next thing really, galaxies are going to be hard. Most nebulas are going to be hard to impossible, I would say. Well, I would say then uh, maybe we could try some globular clusters. Now, most of them are going to be pretty difficult in a white zone too, especially depending on what size. Let's try for maybe three of them. Let's take a look at my map. One that might be easy, we hope, is going to be M53 from the city. Now, if we go down here, this one could be easy. Um, I just don't know if we have a south enough sky, but we could try globular cluster M68. And then there's a little tiny one here by Virgo called 5634. So this one, we're going to try for that one. And we're going to try for 53. Maybe those are a couple of the things that you guys can do before, see, once the summer Milky Way comes, then there's going to be a lot of clusters that you can look to from a city. Anyway, let's give it a shot. Can you see those three items from the city? Adelaide pollution is better than nothing. They'll keep you going. Or well, maybe the Hercules cluster comes up and then you uh, can look at that. Maybe Vega, the Ring Nebula, Dumbbell Nebula. We'll see what we can see as the seasons progress, but let's give it a shot and see what happens. Okay guys, so we are looking at M53, which is a globular cluster. I wouldn't say it's super bright, especially from a zone eight or a Bordeaux zone eight, a white zone. But in this episode, we're looking at, can we see it with, uh, you know, in a big city, you know, with all these street lights. And as you guys see, like I have, Look how many street lights I have there. One, two, three. There's one behind the tree, four, five, six, seven, and I tell them 12. Like, I got a whole bunch. So, really, so really, if you guys are even in a Bordeaux 8 like me, and you have no street lights and it's pure darkness, you'll see it even better. You, you, even if you have, I would say a 10 inch would probably be equivalent to what I'm using now. Now, right now I'm using a 32 millimeters, it's a low power. The star sense for whatever reason is not going green, but that's okay. I, I, it's still on the object. It's not going green, but at least it's in the eyepiece. And yeah, I can see it as a little tiny glow. So again, you can see M53. 
from a white zone, border zone eight with a 12 inch, but I got lots of street lights here. So if I didn't have that, it would be, and I can still see it. So it would be even slightly more brighter. Okay, if we pop now, I believe this is a 9.7 millimeter. Sorry, this is a 12.4 millimeter. It is a little bit bigger and a little bit brighter, but it's still kind of like a fuzzball. Now, if you were in the country skies, or maybe if I had no street lights, um, maybe I could see kind of individual stars. Now, I guess if I use a verde vision, I can see it's, it's a bunch of stars, but it's very, very dim. I'm not gonna say it's super bright, but you know, you can see it, I guess. Um, I guess this is if you are in the city, because in the late spring, before summer starts, before the ring nebula comes up in a decent angle, there isn't too much in the sky. It's, the spring is normally called galaxy season. But you know, galaxy season, and even in a 12 inch from the city is probably impossible. So then what's tricky is the deep sky stuff like the nebulas, galaxies, are gonna be virtually impossible unless you just see the smallest of core which is not gonna even satisfy your taste but let's that's why we're trying globular clusters since there's no open clusters from the beehive and Mel 11 all the way you know at a previous videos we've seen the beehive M67 uh, Mel 11 111 but besides uh, M3 and 5 this might be the next brighter one and then um, you know there's nothing really there's no open clusters till you know the summer starts so maybe it's better than nothing okay so we're gonna try a different object now we're gonna try a different globular cluster okay so let's try this one and this one is probably even dimmer 5634 NGC 9.5 globular cluster so let's see if we can, oh, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be on that angle. And as you can see, uh, we're hitting the fence now. Okay, I am going to move the telescope. I could move it on the cement part, but let's see if that's enough now. And let's see if it's still aligned. That might be just over the fence. Okay, again, for some reason, the star sense is not turning green. It happens once in a while, but as long as it's in the eyepiece, it's fine. So according to this, it should be. I don't see anything. Let me try pushing the power and see if I can darken the sky a little bit. Maybe the contrast will come up a little. Should be right there. not really seeing it so I'm gonna say no okay so let's see oh I'm 68 oh my god no way uh, there's no way I'll see it it's just way too low okay never mind still pretty good and again remember if you guys can shield even if you're in a white zone which is the worst okay uh, or border zone 8 and maybe if you have a 10 inch you're probably gonna see it as I'm seeing it with a 12 inch you're gonna you're gonna compensate that two inches by not having all these street lights and not having this flash in my eye maybe even slightly less maybe it's probably more equivalent to a nine if it's completely dark so take that into consideration um, if you're in like a Bordel zone six, let's say, with an eight inch, you're probably gonna see it how I'm seeing with the 12 here. So 
size and light pollution go kind of hand in hand but definitely if you guys are in the city and you know the spring stuff the galaxy season and the spring stuff is just too hard there's no kind of open clusters besides the few uh, so then the next best thing is go for the globular clusters and it might not be the best but there's definitely a couple for you to look at now maybe we could have seen a bit more but i would have to go over the fence and i just don't want to do that one time what i did when looking uh i can't remember in the winter time i don't know if you guys remember it's about not last year the year before i put a coffee table here and i put the telescope on top of the coffee table the dog's in and then that way i can see over the fence um, i can't remember if that was for m41 or whatever but uh, anyway you could do that anyway guys that's it for this video there's your three objects to look at but that one um, it was just too dim i couldn't see m68 could be possible right but it's just too low in the sky my fence won't get, get that low whenever it's clear give it a shot i mean don't be disappointed if it looks very dim if you're in the city give it a shot you can always look it in the city and then maybe when you go to the country check it out again see what the difference is and you guys tell me is there a big difference or or not hey, comment and subscribe i'll see you on the next video uh, if you know anybody getting into the hobby please share my link with them and if you guys are on the forums and somebody's asked about a video like this observing from the city uh, share my channel the link with them again um, also i do have a members video where once a month i post a video just for the members it never goes live and i try to put your name in the description so that's what you get and it's only 99 cents to see that one video and it helps support the channel to grow so i can give you guys more content anyway guys why not you why not me